hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well so in the previous lecture we have discussed about the curve fitting one question we have already done over there okay you can refer that video i have provided the link in the description box if you have not watched it yet okay so in this uh, video uh, we will solve another problem so that you will get clear picture about the uh, straight line okay straight line y is equal to a plus bx for the given data okay so question is this fit a straight line y is equal to a plus bx for the data okay data is given x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 y is equal to 2 5 3 8 7 okay so uh, when you write the uh, what we call the examination okay you have to set the answer like this okay let the straight line fit it to be y is equal to a plus bx just we are dealing with this particular equation in another videos we will uh, solve parabolic equation okay uh, accordingly so uh, the next part is the normal equations for the curve are already in the previous video i have told you you have to remember these two equations that is summation of y is equal to na plus b summation of x summation of xy is equal to a summation of x plus b summation of x square okay same i have written here uh, these two formulas okay very simple to remember first of all uh, summation of y uh, and summation of xy and a plus b summation of x b summation of x as it is here b summation of x square you have to square it this part remains same a will remain same here only summation of x will be added so that you will find easiness to remember these two formulas over here okay so let's solve now we have to make columns like x y what we need here summation of xy so first of all we should get xy over here and also summation of x square x square means we have to take x square then only we can do the summation so what is the x value 1 2 3 4 and 5 right next is y that is 2 5 3 8 or 7 next xy 2 into 1 is 2 5 into 2 that is 10 3 threes are 9 and 8 fours are 32 and 7 into 5 is 35 okay and next is x square means you have to square this x x terms so 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 and 5 square is 25 now you have to do summation just because in equations we need summation of x summation of y so we can calculate here summation of x summation of y summation of xy and summation of x square you have to calculate it okay uh, 2 1 uh, 3 3 plus 3 is 6 10 15 so summation of x i am getting 15 over here next is 5 plus 2 is 7 10 18 25 okay so this is your 12 plus 9 is 21 21 plus uh, 32 is 53 83 and 88 okay this is 88 so this is your 25 plus 16 is 41 plus 9 is 50 54 55 so you are getting 55 over here okay so now you have to put these values in the equation first and second suppose i am taking it first and second and also one term is missing here that is n n is number of terms 1 2 3 4 and 5 so n is equal to 5 okay so just put the values in the equation first suppose summation of y what is the value 25 so 25 is equal to n n value is okay a you have to calculate plus b you have to calculate what is the summation of x value that is 15 so 15 you can write next this is your first equation okay so now i can write it as third equation now another one is summation of xy what is the value of summation of xy that is 88 so 88 is equal to a a you have to calculate what is the summation of x value that is 15 plus b as it is summation of x square value is 55 okay now this is your fourth equation now in order wise i can write it as suppose 5a plus 15b is equal to 25 okay this is your 15a plus this is uh, 55 times b which is equal to 88 now you have to solve these equations okay to find out the a and b value so how to solve these equation dear friends uh, just multiply 3 uh, this first equation by 3 okay so you will get it as implies that 5 into 3 that is 15a in order to make coefficient same so that i can cancel these terms okay so i am multiplying this equation by 3 okay so 3 into 5 is 15a plus 15 into 3 is 45b 25 into 3 you should also multiply right hand side okay 3 into 25 is uh, 75 right so this equation as it is 15a plus 55b is equal to 88 now subtract for uh, this equation to end this equation it will become minus it will become minus and minus okay 15a 15a gets cancelled now i will remain with 
which is equal to 55 minus 45 that is minus 10 B is equal to 88 minus 75 what is the value 13 okay so minus 13 I am getting so minus and minus will get cancelled I will get B is equal to 13 upon 10 so B is equal to 1.3 are you getting my point okay this is your B value now you have to put this B value in any of these two equations so that you will get uh, A value okay so see here I am putting this B value in equation first suppose this is your 25 is equal to 5 into A plus B value you have to take 1.3 into 15 okay so I will get A values so by transferring it to the uh, left hand side I will get 25 this is your uh, 15 into 1.3 is 19.5 okay so this will become your minus 19.5 is equal to 5 times a so what is the value of 25 minus 19.5 you will get 5.5 is equal to 5a so a is equal to 5.5 upon 5 you will get a is equal to 1.1 value okay this is your a value now you have to put a and b value in the first equation that is y is equal to a plus bx so i am writing here y is equal to a plus bx so y is equal to what is the a value that is 1.1 right sorry 1.1 plus b value is 1.3 so 1.3x this is your uh, best fitting curve for the given data okay i hope this is clear to you people in the next video we will try to solve another variety of the parabolic uh, line over there okay so thanks for watching my video